What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, that's me, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be looking at horror stories that are animated. Let's just do this. It was April 1st, 2001. I was at home watching TV when I heard a big bang on my back door. I didn't know who or what it was. I thought it was a raccoon or something, so I kept watching TV. I will never forget what I heard. Someone Who the hell thinks that? You hear a big bang on the door. Ah, yeah, it's just the raccoon. What the hell is he doing? Uh, Headbutting the door? Yeah, is he signing up to be the next quarterback? A linesman? What's he doing? I am coming for you. I turned to see who it was, but no one was there. I went outside and yelled, who's there? I went back inside, and then I saw it. It was a man with a white rabbit mask holding a kitchen knife. I ran to the kitchen and grabbed a knife and turned on the light. The guy took off his mask, and it was my friend, Fred. I was relieved, and he yelled, April Fools! I asked how he managed to get so far when he whispered in my ear. He looked confused. To my surprise, he said, I never whispered in your ear. That's when I knew something was in my house. I told Fred to hide and call the cops. When the cops got there, they saw a man with long black hair robbing stuff from my house. He had a pistol and some pocket knives. The cops told me he had broke out of prison a couple days before the incident. And kind of looks like one of my uncles. Not even gonna lie. The guy was eating glass. Back then, my brother and I used to play with a lot of guns. <laughs> especially water guns. Okay. One night, we got our flashlights and pretended we were the police. It was around 10 p.m. We were in the backyard with my brother's friend playing when we saw a tall black guy. <laughs> we were just staring at him. Uh, nice. Thanks for addressing that. I don't know who he was or why he was there. Then he suddenly said, Hey, can I play with you? Bitch, please, my brother said. <laughs> what? Then the tall guy seemed to go into a strange position and smiled at us creepily. I was so scared, so I aimed my gun at the guy when my flashlight lit up the face of the man. I will never forget what I saw. There was a big X on the middle of his forehead, and the guy was eating a piece of glass, literally eating it and bleeding. We didn't know what to do while we ran back into the house. My brother's friend jumped outside the fence and he didn't come back. We were standing near the window and my brother told me to call mom and dad. When I called my mom, I heard a loud smash coming from the big window on the front door. My brother quickly grabbed my shirt and dragged me upstairs. At that moment... Why the hell is half their face gray? Is that what happens when you sweat? I wouldn't know. I don't exercise. ...to my mom because then I would make a sound. We stayed silent for about 20 seconds. Then we heard a footstep near my side. I was about to tilt my head to take a look when I suddenly heard a gun get reloaded. My brother quickly punched the gun and ran so fast downstairs. We had to live. We were almost to the door when we heard a gunshot. We quickly ran to the nearest neighborhood and told someone what happened. We called mom and dad and also dialed 911. You know what? If, if all your guys' faces are that gray, maybe it's time to just end it. You know, I think you're on the verge of going that way anyway. It's time to just, you know, collapse maybe. When I don't know. When came to our house, they found fresh blood trails from the living room to the bathroom. There, they found the guy bleeding to death. As if the guy wanted us to watch him commit suicide or possibly kill us. Well, I don't know. But that was some serious madhouse shit, and I would never, ever forget what happened. Black-Eyed Woman I was 11 years old at the time. It was a horrible event. I lived in Texas, but my family decided to go to California during the summer of 2015. It wasn't going to be a long time, so my family of six, including me, stayed at my aunt's house. One night, my parents went to a party, and both of my brothers and I didn't want to go, so we stayed behind. My aunt's daughter stayed with us, too. It was around 6 p.m. My parents said they were coming back around 2 a.m. Hearing that gave me goosebumps, 
since we were staying in a two-story house. I've always been scared of two-story houses for this reason. As soon as our parents left, we all decided to eat snacks. Well, we wanted to, but there weren't any. My yeah, cousin, that's what your grandparents are for, dude. Duh, like, dude, everyone knows that. Asked us if Call we your, go to your grandma, store. dude. Since she was already 19, she could drive by herself. She's 19. Of course she ain't got no food. The only thing she has is a nicotine addiction and eats air. That's it. My brother said yes, but I told him I do want snacks, but I don't want to go. I thought that my brothers would want to stay behind too, since they were just two years older than me. But instead, they just said, okay. They all left without me. I was all alone. Fifteen minutes in, I was sitting on the couch playing on my iPad. Suddenly, I heard a sound coming from upstairs. I decided to check what it was, but as soon as I started to go up the stairs, a glass cup fell down the stairs. I ran to my uncle's room and hid inside the closet. Oh god. You're in your uncle's room inside the closet? I'm sure you've been there before. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. After two minutes of hiding, the lights <laughs> in the room started flashing. I could see it from the crack under the door. I wanted to text my brother, but I left the iPad on the couch. Soon after, I heard another sound from upstairs. Well, that's how I knew that whatever was doing all the scary stuff was definitely upstairs. I decided to run out of the house, and then tried to ask the next door neighbors to let me into their house for a bit. But before I could, I checked the upstairs window when I got outside, and I saw a figure in one of the rooms. It was a clear image since it was barely 7 p.m. The figure what was definitely it? the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw a woman with a black dress. She was pale and had dark eyes. It was as if she accidentally messed up her makeup and got black makeup all around her eyes. She also looked kind of like a nun. I stood there, watching her for like 10 seconds. And then I saw a car driving in from the side. I moved near the garage and the car came closer. It parked at the house. I realized it was my cousin with both of my brothers. I was relieved. They asked me why I was outside, and I said I wanted to take a picture of the house from outside. I didn't tell them the truth. They didn't realize I didn't have my iPad when I said this. Once we got inside the house, I followed them upstairs. I was obviously behind them since I was scared. Nothing happened the rest of the day until that night. Yeah, this is pretty interesting, dude. Like, I'm actually really into these. That's why, I, like, I'm not even pausing or anything. You guys should be happy. Do you know any comments I get telling me how annoying I am that I pause too much? It was 10 p.m. It was raining. I just wanted to see the thunder, so I moved the curtains to look out the window. A bit of light came in because of the lightning. And that's when I saw it again. The figure was in the neighbor's parkway, just staring at the house. Well, that, this is the most romantic I've ever seen. You should just ask her to marry you. Never forget that night, no matter how You guys might I as well bung, Sometimes bungle we'll up in Hawaii fun. together. I'll stop and remember, and the thought always ruins my day. The thought that the woman from that night might always be out there looking for me. I, was, I thought you were going to say the woman out there might be my mom. I don't know why that came to mind, but it did. I'm just saying, why, why am I touching my nipple? I don't know. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the video, though. Um, if you guys want to watch the original full-length video and go watch a crazy amount of stories, this video is over an hour long, so make sure you guys do it. Link down below. I thought a lot of these were interesting, especially the last one. I was like, I was actually really into the last one. Like, I, was, I was feeling that, bro. You know what I mean? I was feeling it. I liked it. It was different. It was unique. But uh, some of them at the same time were just kind of weird. Some of them were just, why, why the hell is this a story? But it was. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed my reaction and maybe you guys want me to react to more uh, animated horror stories in the future, all you have to do is slap that like button. Let me know in the comments. 
and uh, subscribe because I do post daily videos, turn on notifications, tea videos, drama videos, scary videos, whatever you guys want to see. Peace.